Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for November 3rd, 2021. Well, my goodness, those bulls have a ravenous appetite for risk, continuing to push those markets higher. New records again sat in the indexes yesterday as we continue to march higher. There just doesn't seem to be anything um, that concerns the market at all as we press and press and press these markets higher. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the hump day edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. My goodness, we have a market that just can't seem to slow down. It, it is just all in all the time, continuing to push to the upside. Um, we're seeing unbelievable moves um, in the market where we're having 100 point gains, 100% gains, not 100 point gains, 100% gains after earnings reports. Um, phenomenal moves in the market where the risk um, just doesn't seem to be measured at all. It's just buy something and keep moving. Let's take a look at these indexes and see what we've got going on here. First off, you have to notice that we are in a very strong upside move here to the market with really no rest or stop, um, continuing to pump and pump and pump higher. However, this morning we have a little bit of a tick lower here. And why would that be? Well, today we have the FOMC decision potentially well, I guess the question will be answered. Will we taper or will we not taper? Um, so um, we're waiting for that decision and we're waiting to see what Jerome Powell has to say overall about the market, whether or not the Fed is going to begin fighting inflation, which we all know is extending much longer than the transitory hope that um, he continued to repeat over and over and over. So let's take a look at this. We continue to move up. We do have a little bit of price support right in there. It is a weak price support. If we were to really get going with the bears, if the market were to stumble, that could be a pretty painful pullback. And then we have these price levels through here that could be the next levels of price support in the chart if we pull back. But right now there are no clues in the chart um, to the fact that we're going to pull back or that we have any concern whatsoever about the risk of this market. Let's um, take a look at the SPY, SPY. SPY continues to move up very, very sharply, um, setting new record highs. And let's notice we have a little tiny bit of price support right in here. Little tiny bit of price support. And I mean little. There's not much there. We just had a little pullback there. It's not supported by anything other than that. And we have this potential risk um, of a substantial pullback if we don't hold this level we could pull all the way back into here take a look our trend in here is very very extended we're kind of stretching this thing out to the upside and the more we stretch the more there seems to be a desire to chase stocks uh, no matter their price to the upside so just be careful of that now we are looking at maybe just a little bit of selling here this morning and i think it's just a little bit of pause um, ahead of the FOMC and we could get a lot of choppiness today as we wait for that FOMC decision. QQQ, however, is trying to move up and set new record highs at the open today. Um, absolute defiance of gravity here in um, the QQQ with virtually no rest in this move to the upside. And as you can see, a pullback into here to price support could be um, an ugly pullback if that were to occur. It could be very painful as we continue to extend. So keep an eye on that. But right now, no clues of any kind of rest or pullback coming in the market. It's just hurry up and buy something. And then IWM, IWM tried, oh my goodness, it tried. We tried to pop through this and notice that this morning we're trying again. We're trying, the little tiny candle there. We're trying to pop through this resistance and set a new record high in the Russell 
Russell just hasn't quite been able to do that. And it'll be an interesting day today with all of this data coming our way, whether or not it will be able to push right on through there or not, or if we get a rejection of that area in the chart. Bulls are still definitely in control here. We continue to power higher and um, there's just no reason to, there's nothing in this chart that suggests that we're about ready to pull back except that resistance that um, has been pretty tenacious over the, over the last year. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now our VIX had a little bit of rest yesterday, not as much as you would think with the strength of yesterday's push up. But what was interesting, and I'll show you here in just a second, we actually had more stocks declining than we did moving up yesterday as we set new records. But as you can see, we still have this resistance level in the chart. We tested this area here just recently, but we're not showing any signs of pushing on through that. One thing I will say is we're kind of sliding out from under underneath this downtrend and if we were to hold a higher low in here that's that tried and true pattern that I look for in um, stock charts that pattern that could hold and we bounce off of there so watch that carefully if that were to occur but as of now there's no sign that the bulls are ready to stop or willing to stop it's just like I said, hurry up and buy something. And then if we take a look at our T2122, and T2122 does show us that we had a little pullback in T2122. We were way up here, and even though we continued to push on up and set new records yesterday, what this showed us is that we had more stocks declining than going up yesterday. So we had that select few continuing to push these indexes higher um, yesterday. Um, even though we had, did get a little bit of rest in T2122. So what that means is that we have opened up an opportunity. If we can find enough reason for bullishness today, and there's no reason to think we can't, we could push right back up here into that rever reversal zone on the day. But also keep in mind, we still have a big opening here to the downside that we could move if we were to happen to stumble or be disappointed with um, the FOMC decision. So kind of keep an eye on that. Let's take a look at our T2107. Now T2107 had a little pullback as well. You can see we did have some stocks in here uh, pulling back. So we've got about 48% of the market um, above their 200 day moving average, which is that, you know, it's an improvement, a little bit of pullback from yesterday. But remember, as we continue to hold above this downtrend and hold above some support levels, there's some bullishness to be thinking about here in this chart. And we do have some price resistance up in here, but so far we're doing pretty well here. And this is a good sign if we can start bringing these stocks up out of the bottom. Um, and then if we take a look at our T2101, our T2101 continued to de de decline yesterday. And um, as we continue this wedging pattern in here, I'm not exactly sure how much longer we can stay in this ravenous buying um, attitude here in the market because we continue to tighten and tighten and tighten this wedge here in this chart. And I have to expect at some point in time, um, we're going to get that break to the upside, which would mean that the bears come back into play. But for now, um, we continue to stay very confident in the upside move. There doesn't show any signs here yet that we're quite ready for that kind of a, um, a bearish um, action in the market. And let's take a look at our T2101. Now, I brought this up the other day, and I do think this is important. Notice that we're setting new record highs. We're new, new record highs in the markets, but we um, are currently at a lower high. Now, I know this is a weird indicator because it's the 40-day moving average and very few people pay attention to the 40-day moving average. But what is important, I think, is that we're setting those new record highs and we're doing that with fewer and fewer stocks um, breaking or holding above their 40-day moving average. We've got 65% of the market above their 40-day. So kind of an interesting situation here in that chart. We just can't um, 
fewer and fewer stocks are holding the market up and let's just um, that's just the way it is and unfortunately it leaves us with a little bit of concern as we press up here and test that level right there in the chart so let's take a look at our economic calendar but before we do that today guys i want to point out a couple things and this is one of the reasons i keep um, a, a bit on the cautious side. And I know there's a lot of folks out there probably thinking, the guy's so doggone ca cautious, it's ridiculous. And, and that's okay. It's perfectly fine to think that. Um, I'm not suggesting I am the best trader in the world. I'm just telling you the things that I look at and why this is important. So first off, let's take a look at, this is the S&P 500 PE ratio. And as you can see, we have a historical average here of our PE ratio. And notice that right now, and this was as of Monday, so we're above this at this point. As of Monday, we were 96% um, above that historical average for PE ratio in the market. So I continue to say the market is extremely overextended. Um, the only time we have been higher is the internet bubble of 1932. Uh, of 1999, I just about said 1932, and we were 132% above that historical average. So what that means to me is that we are extended, we are extremely overvalued, but at the same time, we still have upside opportunity that could come into the market because we have not reached that um, level that we saw back here in 1999. So when I when I keep mentioning 1999 and the possibility it feels like a blow off top is happening in the market, this is one of the reasons I'm suggesting that. So kind of keep an eye on that. And there's another indicator out there. One of the reason Warren Buffett has 186 million billion dollars sitting on the sidelines is because he doesn't see any value in this market. And this is the Buffett um, indicator. And the Buffett indicator, notice it, it is at a we've never been this high um, in this. It is 213% of market value to GDP at this point. 213%. We have never been this high before in our um, valuation of the market. And Buffett is saying, I see no value. So he's standing on the sidelines. And as you can see, 71% higher than the long-term average of that indicator. So that's one of the reasons why I keep saying be cautious, be careful, don't chase, don't rush, don't chase already extended stocks because there is risk in this market. Be very, very careful. Now quickly, let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar, we know we've got ADP coming this morning. We're gonna get a little bit of word on private payrolls. We'll want to keep an eye on that. We've got factory orders and ISM. I kind of think those will probably be largely ignored. Um, and then we're going to have the petroleum status. Now, petroleum status could be interesting because of the position of the oil sector stocks. Oil sector stocks are very, very um, elevated at the moment, um, and inflation continues to um, rear its ugly head, pushing those higher. So we'll want to watch that carefully. If we get a build in supplies, that could that could soften um, some of that oil sector. If we get a surprise decline in supplies, that would bolster those and we would see oil sector stocks probably continue to the upside. And then we're going to probably go into a choppy session. Expect lots of choppiness, light volume. We're gonna be waiting for the FOMC and the Fed chair. If there's any time to just go out and do something else for a while, it'll be that period between um, here and here to just, oh, you know, probably do much of a little bit of nothing because we'll be in the wait and see mode to see what Jerome Powell has to say and how the market will react. Please keep in mind that we usually get a wild reaction around that event. So could be pretty crazy. Now, don't forget, we get through this, then we've got that international trade, we've got jobless claims, and then that big whopper um, later on um, this week on Friday morning with the unemployment situation number that disappointed so badly last time 
and we totally ignored it. So kind of keep an eye on that. Um, that's coming up on Friday. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now our earnings calendar is a whopper of a day. We have um, over 300 companies on the list today expected to report by far more than I could ever cover in the video today. So um, I'll just I'll just mention a couple here um, like GD. Uh, GoDaddy will be reporting today. We're going to hear from MGM. We're going to hear from TTWO. We're going to hear from EA. We're going to hear from Roku. Um, so just um, keep an eye on these charts today. And if you want the full list of notables, please click the link just below the title of the video and go back to the, the blog and you can get that notable list. There is a lot of them today. Um, just about half typers cramp for, cramps from typing in all of those symbols. Let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, well, you know what to do, right? Click that subscribe button and then click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified when I post a video. And then for all of you folks that have been so kind following the channel, um, I really appreciate it. If you feel these videos are worthy, please continue to click those thumbs up buttons, leave those brief comments. I'm pushing as hard as I can to try it. And uh, I don't know why I want to see 25,000 in subscribers and we're getting close. We're over 24,625 this morning. We're growing and keep in mind guys that I am going to be giving away a personally carved. I do wood carving and um, have a lot of fun with wood carving. I'm going to give away a personally carved our Christmas tree that um, I will send out to someone once we hit that 25,000. And please keep in mind, guys, you can choose whether you want one with lights, one without lights, one, you know, however you want them. Um, I can personalize those for you. So we'll be sending one of those out. Let's take a look at um, these stocks that could be setting up. And please keep in mind, guys, that these are not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. You're going to have to do your own due diligence, making sure that you pay very, very close attention uh, to the risk of these trades. Let's take a look at a couple. Um, HOMB, um, HOMB, kind of an interesting chart. Notice that we're moving up here in this trend. Um, moving up and we've been dealing with some price resistance in the chart and we just had this surge right there where we pop through. Now let's take note that that's right there around that 200 day moving average we've pushed up through here. So we could still see a little bit more rest in this chart, but I like the, the fact that we broke through that resistance and any resting consolidation in here could set up that opportunity to the upside. So keep a close eye on that looking pretty good overall. I think you might want to take a look at Mondelez. Mondelez reporting today, so it kind of messes everything up. We have been in this nice little inverted head and shoulders pattern, and Mondelez moving strongly to the upside this morning, um, looking to gap up. So what I would do is put this one on the list and then wait for that resting consolidation um, in here pullback or whatever, looking for that opportunity to enter Mondelez um, on this little resting, uh, if it can get that little resting period in here. So breaking that downtrend, looking for some upside um, might be worth taking a close look at. Um, I also think you might want to take a look at FCX. Now FCX trying to push this morning, and this is going to be important. Um, we're, we're kind of stretched away from this current trend. Okay. Notice we had this really steep rally. One of the things that I always watch carefully for is when the rally is too steep, then we typically will get into a longer term consolidation or more of a protracted pullback. But notice we've been trapped in this range here for a while. We're trapped, there's, we're, we got a lid on us here and we're holding above support. So could we pop out of here soon? Yeah, I think there is a possibility that we could. Um, watch for that opportunity, that pop out, and then a hold, and then that opportunity to move to the upside. However, I don't want to rule out the possibility here on FCX that we could drift and 
continue to drift in this area before we pop out. So put that on a list and keep an eye on it. Um, FCX could be coming around. As you guys know, I've been mentioning um, Cisco and Oracle here recently, and Cisco made its move yesterday, popping through some resistance in the chart. So if you're not in this trade, be careful not chasing, and then look for that rest or consolidation in here for that next opportunity to the upside. Cisco's looking pretty decent here and may have some upside opportunity. And you guys know I've been kind of talking about Oracle over and over and it has had quite a struggle here. Um, this is one of those rather steep rallies right in here and now we've rested up in here and notice that we kind of failed support here we get we're getting this weird volatility in here dropped in but look at what's going on this morning we're perking up pretty hard today um, this morning and that possibility that we could move right back up above now when a stock breaks a support when we break a support we must recover it and prove to hold it for the next opportunity to enter. And that's one of the things, one of the patterns that I look for. We lose a support just like this. Lose the support, rally back, prove to hold it, and then you're off to the races with a nice upside move. So keep an eye on Oracle. I think there may be some some opportunity coming in that chart. Take a look at some of the retailers. Oh my goodness. Um, we have seen these extreme upside moves in Dollar Tree. I wouldn't want to chase this stuff, but any rest or pullback would set up an opportunity. I saw Kohl's yesterday have a pretty big surge in that move where we're breaking above this downtrend for the first time and we've got this nice little upside trend. So let's watch and see if we can get a little bit of a rest and consolidation in here and then have that upside opportunity coming into that chart. So some of those, there's a lot of these patterns starting to show up where stocks coming up out of these bottoms and they, they show up and they look like this where we break those downtrends. This is something that you guys know that I talked about and pushed above that little resistance area held that downtrend and then off to the races. Good potential trade without all of the volatility and that's always something that I'm looking for. So there's a few charts for you to look at today. There's a lot out there to potentially look at. There's also a lot that we've got to be careful of because of those earnings reports. I want to wish everyone a fantastic day and I want to say once again to be very, very careful not to chase extended stocks just in case we happen to stumble in the market. It could be some painful pullbacks. So everyone take care, have an awesome day, and we'll see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning. Wish you all the best.